it's just a tasty time of year to have a big old cup of soup or a big old bowl of soup. So this is a traditional Italian one. And what I did is I took a cup and a half of lentils, I soaked them overnight. And then the next day I cooked them up the same way I cook a cup and a half a cup and a half of farro. I put them in a pot of water, bring the water up to a full rolling boil, add salt, one whole onion cut in half, and a big old fresh bay leaf. Let them cook till they're tender. The pearled farro will take 15 to 18 minutes. The lentils will take about a half hour to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the lentil. Then drain them. For the soup, if you want it spicy, you can start with hot Italian sausage or this cool stuff. This one's actually made in America, but this is Induja, and it is a sausage paste. That paste just literally melts and it gives it this sexy, smoky, kind of yummy, yummy thing going on in the background. But if you want a milder soup, of course, skip that part, just put olive oil in the pot. So I have your usual suspects, carrot, celery, onion. I had a couple of leeks left over when I wrote up this recipe, so I put leeks in mine too. Throw your usual suspects into the hot tub. Add a few fat cloves of garlic. I just grate them right down into the pot. And then we want to sweat this out. So I'm going to add salt and pepper to draw the liquid out of our veggies. And I'm going to throw in lots of rosemary, finely chopped. Boom. Salt over the shoulder for luck. Lovely. And I'm gonna give this a stir and let the lid sit on this to force all of those juice, juices out of our veg. When we come back, I'm gonna show you the pesto-like sauce I stir into the soup when we serve it. And we'll get everybody into the hot tub right after this. So this is our lentil soup. The lentil and the farro. You can cook the lentils right in the soup or you can cook them separately if you want to use some lentils for salad and some lentils for the soup. Basically, you need a cup and a half of lentils and a cup and a half of farro. I added, over the break, two quarts of chicken stock in a box and one can of diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, any tomato you have. I've been wilting in my greens. I like to use kale because it stands up really well to soups. And then you wilt that down in there. Anything with dark greens, you add a little nutmeg to it, just like anything with cream or milk. Stir that in. And now the soup is essentially done. When I serve this, the garnish I pass around the table is a sauce similar to pesto. It really makes the soup. You throw in about a half a cup of toasted almonds, about the same amount of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, a fat cup of basil and flat leaf parsley, a large clove of garlic, the juice of a lemon and some olive oil. This is delicious. And when you stir it into that soup, it brings it to life. I have to take one more break. When we come back, we'll serve it up. So this is that beautiful farro and lentil soup. And then you put in a fat dollop of that walnut basil parsley sauce. Grab a snack 